What's up? Hello. Hello. Ooh, wow, nice roof. Yeah, it's tinted by uh, electricity. You can... Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, you can turn off the tint. Can we? Can we? Can we? Yeah. Should untint now, yeah. Oh, it's untinting. Wow. I never knew that. That's quite... Quite cool. yeah, it's quite good because you can still, uh, you know, have a look outside, uh, and and it's not getting as warm as without this. Mm -hmm. High tech, high tech. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it's just a quite uh, simple stage, which is yeah. an ECU remap here, yeah. and an exhaust system combined, um, 720 horsepower. That's a maximum mm -hmm. you can get on stock turbos. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. what's the stock uh, performance? It's well, yeah, it depends. 585, yeah. mm -hmm. but uh, usually when you put this uh, specific car on a dyno, well, this model, yeah, it will this be, is the uh, formatic, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and and uh, on our dyno, we usually show slightly over, over 600 horsepower. Mm. I heard more manufacturers doing this thing. Well, let me say this: It's quite easy to, uh, you know, get it uh, done now with with all the remaps because uh, now you have the possibility to to have kind of a worst case scenario. So even let's say in Dubai, uh, with maybe not uh, that good uh, quality fuel and slightly higher ambient temperature, mm -hmm. it will still show something similar. Yeah. And if you put it on a dyno under proper conditions. It uh, will be really, you know, um, what what it uh, must have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to the manufacturer. So, uh, well, this is a combination of our uh, downpipe system with the stock back exhaust and um, the flaps, mm -hmm. which you can see now we are driving in seventh gear, comfort mode. Yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like you don't hear anything from the engine because flaps are closed. Yeah. So it's just like a proper S-Class. Yeah. And then when you slightly accelerate, um, you still hear maybe something from the engine, but not much. Actually. This is still comfort mode, only like, you know, quarter throttle. Yeah. But it changes if you put it in, in sport mode and then floor it, for example. Yeah. Also the downshifts mm -hmm. will be, you know, different. from such a car. That's true. Because, uh, I mean, this is like 2.1 tons, if I remember <laughs> correct, uh, which is actually not bad. Uh, the cabriolet version of this one is like 250 kilos more, and this is still 200 kilos lighter than a Continental Bentley. Okay. Yeah, so the Continental Bentley is like uh, the, the current version V8, I don't know, 2.5 tons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not talking about the cabriolet, talking about Pay yeah. So uh, that's nearly lightweight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. With two point one tons, yeah. especially when you think about uh, the fact that even E class already is about one point nine. Yeah. With formatic and everything, so two point one is not that bad, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. So the, the carbon fiber is pure for the looks and not for weight reduction in this case. <laughs> yeah, not really. Yeah. But I like it. Yeah, it's quite a. Uh, Luxurious car that you could potentially maybe even take on the Nürburgring. Mm, well, yeah, yeah, you could, but uh, I think the brakes will not like it. How is the transmission cooling if you do? <clears throat> transmission cooling is quite okay with, with the newer uh, versions. So they, they did a lot on additional cooling. Um, let's say if during the last two years on, on these cars and especially equipped with, with these engines. Mm -hmm. So they got some extra uh, coolers, uh, water cooling. Uh, larger uh, oil coolers um, that's okay but this is definitely not a car for yeah the of course not lap. well you can do one two laps yeah, yeah that's yeah. it yeah, and okay. uh, even with the 420 millimeter uh, carbon ceramic brakes uh, yeah it will definitely not work for, mm -hmm. for much longer yeah but like I say I mean the good thing is that uh, really many people who drive such a car 
made the uh, this coupe version or normal um, S63 uh, like a long version for example uh, mm -hmm. as a formatic they are usually afraid of losing the comfort of the car and this is as you can see if you drive in comfort mode at 120 or 130 autobahn speed it's still yeah. quiet and comfy so now that we have even the sports suspension on it um, if we put it in, in, in comfort it's it's really yeah, yeah. like an S-Class should be and I must say, well, it's mandatory for me to make a reference to the 7 Series review that me and Robert did like last week. And we complained a lot about the seats. Well, in this case, the seats are a lot more <laughs> plush. So, yeah. And also a lot of you, my audience said, why don't you go for S-Class? And a lot of people who actually had the 7 Series, the Audi and the S-Class, everyone said that the Mercedes had the best seats. And in this case, I can agree, to be honest. You can even have a hot stone massage, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, they have six uh, massage uh, um, things here. Yeah, hot relaxing, uh, hot relaxing shoulder uh, thing, activating, and there's also um, some... Where is this? Is there a happy ending? Oh yeah, hot relaxing, and uh, now uh, this is an extra. Uh, okay, <laughs> but I guess with, with this car it's quite easy to get. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but this is uh, quite quite nice, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, the funny thing is really that uh, I mean, it gives you uh, s still this S-Class feeling, yeah. even with the tune. I mean, we have upgrades up to 900 horsepower plus. Meanwhile, for these cars, uh, usually uh, most people uh, go first with this stage, just exhaust and tune, and then one year later they come back and yeah. say, ah, what about the 850 uh, horsepower <laughs> stage? <laughs> so this is quite funny. So, uh, yeah, you, you can really get used to it. I mean, it, it's still a heavy car, definitely, but I mean, it's not, not something you, you would uh, say it's, it's really slow if it goes from uh, 100 to 200 uh, in about, uh, yeah, six point something seconds. To be honest, it always depends on the fuel you uh, fuel you are using, on the ambient temperature, on the um, extras the car has. But still, yeah, um, I think the worst thing about this car is you don't really um, how to say it. <clears throat> you don't really feel the speed. You are usually way too fast on the road. Oh, absolutely. So this is probably the most luxurious and the fastest way to lose your driving license. Yeah. And Being, why, uh, why getting a hot stone massage? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm getting right now and my kidneys do like it, to be honest. <laughs> That's probably also... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to be honest, I really like this car. I, I feel slightly too young to own one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so prefer a lighter car, which handles uh, better, but still, uh, for what it is, I really like it at least to drive it from time to time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I must say my first impression is quite good. I mean, <laughs> again, going back to the reference of making you know, about the seats, it's quite luxurious. I like the hot stone massage as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, what else to say? It has a nice sound, it has nice performance. Hmm. We should take it maybe one day on the Notch Life, of course, to <laughs> compare what it would do. But I think this car would be able to go low, not no, even, High eight ish. To be honest, I have no idea. Mm. <laughs> um, never tried with such a car. Um, I really don't know what the suspension would would do. Um, well, this one has the air suspension. Then there are models. If you don't have the Fombatic, mm -hmm. you can also choose the ABC, the Active Body Control. Yeah. Which still has uh, well, you know, it's it's a mixture of a hydraulic and a, and a normal suspension. Um, so it basically leans into the corners. Mm -hmm. This uh, Amatic suspension can't do this, but well, yeah, I mean, would be worth a try, uh, uh, I guess. Yep. Yeah, what we also did here on the software is uh, to have the downshifts a little more, you know, have more little, popping. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sure if someone will hear it on the video, but. To be honest, you buy such a car to maybe show off, to, to say that you made it in life and by 
even improving the show off factor by adding the downshifts, you make this car even better for its purpose. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can. We have winter tires, by the way. So no. It's not really a bad handling car. No. This uh, speed in such a corner wouldn't work uh, in a, let's say, an S class 10 years ago or something like this. No, oh, absolutely. They, they did a lot in a positive way. No, I'm indeed surprised by the handling. I mean, performance, it's not surprising to be honest because while well, the numbers speak for themselves this one has what 720 you said yeah 720 horsepower yeah. and it's like 1050 newton meters but then again going back to the fact that this one is over two tons and the handling is good for everyday use for what i see what we're doing on the public roads on the country roads so i'm pretty sure the autobahn experience must be even better and this is basically what the car is built for yeah, I think the, you know, um, how do you call it in English? Uh, in German you say CW wert, which is, you know... The, yeah, yeah, the, the, the air resistance. Uh, track coefficient. Yeah, 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 track coefficient it is. Uh, so, this is quite good with this car. So, once it reaches, let's say, 200, it really flies up to 300. Uh, and uh, that's also a fun thing to own such a car and to be able to uh, well, somehow destroy <laughs> some some uh, other sports cars yeah. on, on the autobahn, which is yeah. definitely possible. Well, obviously, there will be always uh, faster cars. Especially is this one limited to 250 or is it? Uh, well, from factory you can get it up to 300. Yeah. Um, and depending on the tires you put on such a car, uh, well, at least here in Germany, we never unlimit the cars uh, mm -hmm. because uh, for TUV reasons, so it will stay street legal, mm -hmm. um, we have to still put a limit on. So mm -hmm. in this particular case with the tires which are from, uh, well, which are on the car from factory, we have a special agreement with the tire manufacturer and then we can get it up to 315 mm -hmm. and then it needs to be limited. So it nearly reaches uh, 320 on the, on the speedo. Okay. Yeah. This is where we have to limit it, and everything else will be without any warranty or just for, you know, let's say, export well, customers. Well, su suppose it's the case. You have an export customer where the regulations do not matter that much. What would be the top speed then? <clears throat> With this uh, power stage, uh, it's like 335 real. So you're actually not missing out much? Not that much. Well, it can be e even faster. Uh, but then you're missing uh, some power, so it would take a while uh, to be to be able to reach a higher speed, or you would need to go downhill maybe mm -hmm. with this current stage. Well, like I say, um, we are basically maxing out the stock turbos now at this power yeah. level, yeah. and everything else will require a turbo upgrade. So we have different stages, which is an 800, 850, and more. Uh, but can highest... you breach the magic 1,000 horsepower mark? Let's say it's possible. Um, we don't do it um, because of the warranty issues. Uh, not Reliability. Really. Not really. Um, I mean, the 850, for example, we also offer with a full warranty and everything. Mm. But usually, people who want a thousand horsepower on such a car, they only do it for, let's say, track racing or yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some other events to really, you know, show the people what they have, and then, uh, well. We can do it, but then definitely without any warranty on yeah, the transmission. Course. Especially transmission will be a problem at a certain power level. So, mm. uh, yeah. If you say it's fine for me changing the transmission every year, um, then okay. What's the cost of a transmission? It's not that bad. I f it depends if you have an exchange part or not. Uh, I think it's like four, four and a half thousand euros. Well, that's so, actually really not much. Yeah, that's not so much. Um, the transmission can hold up, let's say, really up to 1200, 1300 newton meters with an reinforcement, which we also do on the higher stages. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is that you cannot reinforce everything. Yeah. I guess this is a full option kit where you have pretty much everything. Yeah, this car is uh, actually fully equipped. Also, has this kind of, you know, basically self driving thing. Oh, is it? So it, yeah. Um, it, it also steers by itself. 
it's not meant to be an autopilot, mm -hmm. but it will follow the line now. Yeah. And also follow the car. You can put it, let's say, to 170 now. And, but it will still uh, keep distance. It will still keep distance to this car. The only thing is, it's not meant to be an autopilot. Yeah. This is that from time to time it will it remind says, you yeah. to put your your hands on on, on, on the car. But mm. let's say uh, during let's say uh, well a traffic jam or something, mm -hmm. it's it's really uh, a nice thing mm -hmm. uh, because then you can really just relax, watch TV, and the car will drive itself up to 50 kilometers per hour without any problem. Oh, this is good. Nice, nice. So if you go in comfort mode like this, yeah, it's like a stock S class, as yeah. you can see. Okay, so one of the most stupid questions, but people do ask them, what's the fuel consumption of this car? Well, to be honest, uh, it's not that bad. It uh, obviously depends on the way you drive, but the 5.5 liter engine, which is called M157, um, it's really efficient. Uh, on, on let's say long term uh, uh, drives, uh, I, can, I can show you even a picture. Maybe I sent it already to you. I delivered an S class long version to a customer to the Netherlands mm -hmm. uh, a few weeks ago with 850 horsepower kit, and we were not able to drive fast mm -hmm. because of the traffic. Mm -hmm. And average speed was I don't know 120 or something, mm -hmm. uh, 350 kilometers of drive, and the fuel consumption was 11.1. So this is uh, not too bad. Yeah, this is really what you can really reach. And yeah. uh, usually I see, let's say, 13, 14 liters on cars, which are used normally. And the guys who really floor it more often, they see, let's say, 16, 17, but still. Yeah, it's still not too bad for such a heavy and powerful car. Yeah. Definitely not. Yeah. yeah. That was just a short drive then. <clears throat> well, short 20 minutes review. <laughs> I can fill a whole vlog of today by doing this, and I think this is maybe what I will be doing because not much else is happening. So, so if you want to tune your car by Rentec or you have additional questions, where to send the inquiries? To me, or just to the sales at Rentec. Mercedes. Yeah, you can read to the address somewhere Don't here. Be. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, have a good day. You too. Is the car the car is going to the customer now? Yeah, yeah, it will be picked up today. Okay, good. It was a nice ride.